Lots of turbo sound. So, right, you, you weld it like that, you put a 90 degree pipe, you weld it to this, and you put the muffler on the back of it because we're nice people. That's it. And it's going to sit like that. You can put it like this maybe? Yeah, that's a good spot. I like that. Yeah. And what, I'm going to get a pipe that welds? Yeah, like un you're going to unbolt that, this, so we can use the muffler. Maybe it'll be like the Miata where you'll hear a little bit something, maybe. It's a big f***ing turbo. This thing's under a lot of load. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to say it won't spin. But, you know, unbolt that in. Unbolt here. Spider web. And then, uh, yeah, dude. I'm hungry. I just, like, use that turbo manifold you got for the E30. Cut one of the no runners off of it. There's a 90 right there. I see it. it. Holy, dude, we had a leak anyway. This, this is... Yeah, there's no bolt is, on the this side. This is maintenance. Mantanum. There's only two bolts on it. Mantanum. Start it, dude. We have to. Oh, no. We have to. It's not even that loud. It's pretty okay. It's loud, but it's like, there's definitely been louder. Now. Yeah. I don't know why anyone ever puts exhaust on their mopeds. Does that look fine? That looks fine, no? Yeah, that looks good. It would help to ground it, you know what I mean? Should I weld the muffler to it first? Okay. You need a bolt, a gange bolt. You gotta put the muffler on, dude. I'm gonna tack this up. Here you go, that's all you need. No try hard TIG welding, none of that stuff. this so it extends it because yeah that'd be better and like just wrap the whole thing in tape so it doesn't let air out couldn't you just go pvc right to the carburetor it's just yeah, too it's small just to too try to get tape we gotta tape it like good the rest is up to you i've done my part you are the intake routing piping guy i am the exhaust guy we have used this formula countless times that was so easy to take apart what the f <laughs> i didn't even see him he do just it. I pulled up it and it was just I'm hoping that we have enough because I think we shoved it mad far in. Yeah. I hope so too. All right, so we got the intake hooked up. Duct tape, dude, works mint with it some does. PVC. It does work very good. I need to bend corner tape. 
Are you gonna put the fairings back on? Yeah. Let's back her up. Damien is tuning the carburetor right now. Bogging in third, dude. We just hit fourth. I think we picked up some torque. I don't know about much horsepower, but I think we might have picked up a little bit of torque. Yeah, dude. Before it literally wouldn't do fourth. Now we're, we're cruising. cruising in fourth. Turbo still mint. Max speeding Check rods. Turbo, dude. Check it's it out. Look, look, look up in there, dude. No, no plate. Spins mint. Sick, dude. Did, did you hear the turbo when it was going by you? A little bit. You can hear like the little. Sh I, I was trying to shift like higher gears so it would like rev less but boost more. But I think the CVT was fighting me on that one. Yeah. If we had a 150, dude, thing would rip. Spooling it. Or yeah. if we had like a KO3. I'm surprised it even spun this thing. Like that's for a 50cc moped to spin it, something that's meant for what the f CC is an SR. 2000? Something like that, yeah. 1999cc. That's crazy that this thing actually spun it. And it spun it good. We picked up torque, dude. So, these guys turboed this thing while I wasn't here today. And it is definitely turboed. Nate's just starting it up right away. Well, I think it's in gear. What do you think, what do you think? I mean, it's nothing too far from what we normally do around here. I mean, they got the tape. Start it up, spool it for Kyle, spool pretty, it for Kyle, dude. It's a pretty Decent sized turbo for it. It spins, believe it or not. Yeah. I don't know if it's in neutral or in gear. Oh, uh, it's in gear. Look down, look down the chute. Dude. Oh yeah. Can you hear it? Yeah. Do it again. Do it again. Spool it. Spool it and then turn it off really fast. Yeah, you heard you it? Hear it a little bit. Shh. Oh, that's hilarious. Test drive it or what? Yeah. yeah. You want to drive? Yeah, I think you should steer well, it. You want to drive it? All right. the turbo again. dude
Uh, I mean, I think it goes a little bit faster. I mean, I, I, think I don't it know. Goes, Placebo. Jeez. I think it goes a lot of it faster. You think? Yeah. Yeah, Nate's ridden it a lot, so he would know. With if we moped? went, yeah, you've you've been the guy yeah. riding the moped yeah. on the car. Feel the most speed up there. It's right in front of you. I had the thing, I had it pretty fast, and then I got the speed wobble. Ugh. Oh, fast enough to get speed wobble on a moped. If we were on a straightaway, how fast do you think? Like 30, 40? I, I think, think it would go 25. 40. I think it would hit 42 without. miles an hour. I I think we. Oh, yeah. Should, I that think was we my should, before. Does the speedometer work? Yeah. I think I wasn't we should test it out. That. But, you know. We have to find like a real straight flat road. In the middle of nowhere. And trailer up there. I don't know where that is. Giant flame, you're gonna love that clip. Huge flame. Like right before the burnout, like right as you were dumping the clutch. seen doing a burnout <laughs> it was like line lock yeah dude your thing just spun and stayed right I there was, i had to stand on my freaking brick i gotta it get some of those like gander tires like all right guys max feeding rods has sent me some stuff let me get a knife all right this is all the intercooler piping to where that it's in a square box right two and a half inch which is nice bunch of couplers comes with the clamps I will show you all that later on. Let's get to that good stuff, huh? This is a big ass box. Yeah, I, I thought you ordered like a f***ing office chair or something like that. Oh, uh, these are, we got two more coolers. As you guys seen in previous videos, we put the coolers on the RV. I got two more of those. They work great. They do work good. The RV stays nice and cool. Like it used to overheat, like going up hills because on the RV it's um oil, coolant and trans all through the radiator to cool it. So these helped out a lot keeping the radiator cool. But this is this is what we want right here. I've got definitely gotten one of those boxes before. By the grace of Max Peating Rods, they have blessed me with multiple of these boxes actually. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. You had good luck with them? Yeah. Every time, dude. I mean, it's a reasonably priced turbo. This is the SR20, I believe. It's basically the same size as like the one on my car. If it's a 28. Oh, this feels kind of big. Oh, this is huge. Wow. Look at that. Brandy new, dude. Pew. Pew. So are we gonna destroy this turbo immediately? 
Probably. I don't know. Dude, I should just put this <clears> on the RB, dude. That's too small for the RB. Is it? Oh my god, yeah, dude. You'd overspin the f out of that thing. Would I? Yeah. It's a fing T2. This is a T2? Look at the size of that opening. You think that's T3? F no. <laughs> so this is what Kyle has? Yeah. That's what I have too. It's a, it's a, my, the turbo I have is technically a, it's a GT28. I don't know what the, f the difference is. The cold side's probably bigger or something like that. Like my wheel is definitely wider than that, and this is bigger on mine. But these turbos are good. I've used them before. Dude, no wingscape play at all, dude. F hope not. Some turbos you get, they're f clapped yeah. out. Like you get some eBay turbos, they come pre clapped. Like the ones that he bought that we had four of. Yeah. Tell me the waste gates didn't have play from this factory. I've literally never had an eBay turbo with an internal gate, so I would not know. Oh, well, yeah, th them we had to weld shut because they literally, like, you could flap them by hand. Like, you could do this and it would be like, ching, 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 ching. You know what I mean? That's Maybe dookie. Like, this is Matt. Freaking moped, turbo moped civic coming no. at you, boys. Turbo moped civic, dude. That's pretty. Look at the clamp they use, dude. Look at the freaking pinch clamp, Jamie's. They don't use the freaking worm clamps. People are hurt for these for some reason. These are good, dude. What do you want, Carlos, dude? Who's that? Well, thank you, Max Beating Rods, for the turbo, two coolers, and intercooler piping. Let's see what we can do with this thing, huh? All right, so I already unboxed these because these came a day before everything else. But Max Speeding Rod sent me four three inch V bands, which are super nice for anything you're doing with an exhaust, turbo, anything like that. They just go together like that. You put them inside this clamp, put the clamp together, and boom. You tighten it, and it's honestly the easiest way to bolt up any exhaust system that you custom make, or even if you want it just for a stock one, you just lock. Maybe you're, uh, your flanges on your stock exhaust, maybe they're rotted off, you just weld these on, you're good to go. Everything in this right here, everything in this corner boosted us. This is like 800 horsepower. Also, shout out to Max Speeding Rods for sending us the turbo. Worked great, I recommend it. We ganched it immediately. We did, but it looked like it was a, a direct bolt on. Like, if For you need SR, this, yeah. yeah, like the, the T2. Fill this gap with a bolt. Yeah, oh, I, 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 did, I did in fact fill that gap with a bolt. That's not the only one either. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. We will see you in the next one. I'll go ahead and go on the store and check out what we have. We have this hat. That's about it for now. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow the playlist down below. Um, Facebook, Bad Species Instagram, BS Gaming on our other YouTube channel that we do Sims and live streams sometimes, stuff like that. Uh, P.O. Box in the description. And I think I got it all, right? I think, I that's, think everything, that's everything, man. All right. Thank you, guys. We'll see you next time. See y'all. See y'all later.